It is Tecmo Tuesday time, and it is time to play some Tecmo. Who would have thought with that combination that that's what we'd be Um, also above 500. Nobody's got a losing record, and that is, uh, you know, a sign of a very competitive division. I don't think that we ever had, throughout the first few weeks of the, like up to this point, like the first quarter of the season, in any of the first three Tecmo seasons, that the NFC, uh, I mean the AFC East was, was anything like that. <clears throat> Of course, we're not playing any team in the in our division due to the weird scheduling quirk. Um, not the scheduling quirk; it's like it's a quirk because nobody—they've never done anything like it before. I, I don't think they did anything like that when they brought in the most recent teams up to this point, which I oh god, I don't remember. I think Miami, Atlanta, Cincinnati—those teams were like the the teams that came in before the Bucks and and, and Seahawks. We get a safety? No, nope. close though. Um, I don't think they did anything like that prior to uh, this, where they, instead of playing the teams in your division and conference and all that jazz, it was like you played strictly one game. Ah, I went for the QB, and of course he makes the catch, and Curtis is a fast motherfucker, and he is going to take it to the 13 or so. Shit. I kind of said that like Jack Blackwood. Shit. That, 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 that time I sounded less like you. And it's a touchdown. So that was a lousy couple of plays on defense. Usually we get tore up through the ground. Then again, this is the... Uh, you know, the... You know, getting open down the uh, like the left side of the field, but I felt more confident in going to the short man just because I, you know, Spurrier is not the most accurate, and I wanted to, uh, you know, ensure that I got a completion, got a first down, and I thought that I would get that, but uh, it took some time for the damn ball to get there. So the defender was able to catch up and. Speaking of catching up, you know, uh, he struggled a tackle or two, but, um, you know, they, well, they,
Ugh. I don't know. Defense is not looking so hot to start the day off here. Let's get a nice fucking turnover. Knock it away. That's that's fine too. Oh, they're gonna do that like flea flicker play. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's the one I called because they, you know, they gone to her a few times here. I would have been so pissed if that was a touchdown. Ready, down, hunt, 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 hunt. Play fake. All right, you are gonna kick the field goal here. Not bad, you know it's. This isn't, a, I wouldn't call it a win for the defense, but considering the situation we were in and how they, how that drive started and almost ended up missing it, wow. Chris Barr, he, I think is the brother of Matt Barr, who kicked for everybody in the freaking league, pretty much. I remember Matt Barr, he's in, uh, he was in the Giants in Tecmo, so, um, he was the younger brother of Chris Barr, and then hung around for a while. I remember being in a Wikipedia rabbit hole, um, not too long ago, and I came across Matt Barr. It was... Oh, shit. I, again, that defender closed in on him quick. <clears throat> I, I, I saw that he had the longest gap between Super Bowl wins for any player until Ray Lewis many years later. He was with the Steelers in his, I think, his rookie year in '79. That would have been the last of the, uh, the you know, the Steelers' original dynasty. Oh shit! And then he won another one with the Giants um, in 1990. And then Ray Lewis had, you know, the uh, the Super Bowl for the 2000 Ravens, that classic defense. And then, oh man, that kid, you know, it's again, these defenders, they're, they're not making life easy here. Come on, come on. Oh, we're short. Alright, I'm gonna let the, 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 the clock tick. We gotta test the metal of our kicker here. This is not a short one. Come on, you got this. You got this. You got this. All right. Nice job, Rotor. But, um... Yeah, these, you know... A two score lead out of the blue. No, but that, I can't be talking touchdown too early. Every time I do that, I fuck up. I gotta get the hell out of there. That was, everybody on the inside was waiting for me. I had to take it to the outside. Uh, let's do the same play. Just enough to get the first. All I wanted. Now let's go for the jug. Oh no, he had to come back for it. That was dangerous. Why the hell did he throw it so short? Alright. 
Let's do pass one here. Just get a safe pass. I thought they were blitzing. Oh man, they caught up to him and he caught it. Oh, and he fumbled. Come on, stay, get out of bounds. Oh my god. Like crazy shit like this. Again, you know, that, that just tug on the uh, roller coaster uh, of emotions. It, it plays the. plays you. It plays me like a fucking conductor would. And here we go. Another friggin' blitz. Tackle behind the line. You know, I went from feeling great about getting the first down to fumbling and then. Oh, or first feeling like I was going to get a pick, because it was a catch in a big crowd. Alright, so this is a big third down, because, uh... Well, first off, besides a potential turnover here, it could be the difference between taking a five-point lead and taking a nine-point lead. And here comes the world. What a catch! Break the tackle! And not enough. Ah, that's very reminiscent of our last uh, drive that led to a field goal, where, you know, it was like we picked up the yardage that we could, hoping uh, uh, it was a pass behind all the sticks, which I don't really like to do. I like to make sure I have a, if, if it's third down, I want to have a play that goes beyond the line, beyond the, the, the first down marker. But, you know, this is close quarters, really tight in the end zone. I didn't want to risk a turnover, especially with all the bullets we've been dodging here with turnovers, and there's a nice big return there for them. Set themselves up nicely, uh, almost at midfield. It's just tougher to, 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 to thread the needle in the, uh, in the goal line. It's get, it gets really, uh, there's not, it's not a lot of room to work with, you know? So, it's easier to make mistakes on offense. Oh, God, I had him, and then his fucking the fellow blocker came in and ripped me apart, and now it's going to be, uh, well, not a, not, a, not first and goal, but almost. It might as well be first and goal. It's, you know, technically he can get a first down. He can get a first down. Whoever has the ball can get a first down. And I'm on my ass, and there was a block there. I'm, I'm going to call the shotgun draw here. Nope, that's not what this is at all. They are running it, though. Ugh! Come on! All right, I I, I didn't I missed him, but I was able to at least distract him enough to send him the other direction, which led to uh, the uh, tackle at the line. Come on! I can all right, it's a split backs. So I call the split backs run, and sure enough, we called the right play, and we're gonna hold him to another field goal. They might go for it here now, though. No, they're kicking it. Wow. All right, so that would have been so because it's fourth quarter. They might change their mind about it. All right, this is a big drive right here. He's next. I mean, it's the fourth quarter, so it's in a tight game. Fourth quarter, all the drives are important. But uh, you know, it's like we could either not score at all and then give them a chance to uh, drive down with a chance to kick a field goal just to take the lead and potentially win, or we could kick a field goal and force them to have to score a touchdown, or we could score a touchdown and perhaps. Um, oh shit! Wow, again. You know, he, it, these windows close up really quickly. It's a combination of the slow passing of Spurrier and the uh, the quickness of these defenders. Oh, there's a lot of space here. There we go. That's a nice big chunk. Haven't had one like that in a while. Yeah, a touchdown would put us in really, really good shape. So, of course, that's the goal. It's the goal of every drive. Come on, Owens. Got him! There we go. And because of that, the, uh, you know, again, the, the safety. Absolutely just a killer for the, the Bengals here, because... They'd be, they'd have, uh, they'd be driving to tie it here. I mean, we would have had the tie, we would have broke the tie just now. If it weren't for that safety. That, like, the safety was, it, it's not one of, even one of those things where, okay, if we didn't get the safety, who knows what would have happened after that, because, you know, the half would have been over in the next play. It was very consequential, uh, 
you know, the what the aftermath would have been had there been no safety. Alright, I called a shotgun. And they called the right play. And there's another sack by McCallan. Pretty good chunk, but you know I'll t I'll uh, you can do those till the cows come home. You know those 10, 15 yard pickups, 20 yards at the most, because uh, it's just gonna lead out the clock. Nice. Speaking of block, nice block of the pass there. Yep, again, same shit. You know, just go ahead and run the ball, and, uh... I mean, you know, I think they know that our... I, uh, yeah, my history of, of defending the run is not very good. But if we can just prevent those massive plays, then, you know, you can run the ball like that all day. Wow, he made the catch in the in that coverage. But you see, it's like these little chunks, that, yeah, they're productive, but they're going to score with hardly any time left. I was doomed. Even though they've made some of these catches in tight coverage. Like, really tight coverage. Oh, they're running it. You can always tell by the running back. He just stands there like a dope. And then, you know, he's going to take the handoff. They should have kicked a field goal. I know that it's Tecmo AI. They're not like the, you know, oh, there's the flea flicker. The, that's the game. You know, if they would have kicked the field goal as soon as they got into range and then tried onside, then, you know, they would have had a chance instead of running out of time. <clears throat> Which is what happened there. They did um, outgain us on in the air, but not on the ground, which is, the, you know, the opposite of what I'm used to. Spurrier wasn't that great today. Had 108 yards. Very sparingly uh, did he pass today, but, you know, hey, a win is a win big difference was that safety, because it really changed the way that last drive worked, uh, how that would have really flowed. Um, you know, it's, uh, yes, they're driving to score a touchdown, but I think I would have played the defense a little bit differently. I was just playing to not give up. I was playing prevent, essentially. I know that it's, it's not, well, there's not a lot of complicated defensive calls in the in Tecmo or anything like that, but the way I was calling the place was to get, um, to prevent the big play like that. Um, yeah, the safety was a killer. It absolutely was the big turning point in the game. So, uh, a nice win. Very, uh, methodical. Not a lot of stats, not a lot of yards, but we, uh, in general, outplayed them. Well, it mainly it can't. Well, I mean, actually, you know, it's it, really it was even uh, until the second half. That's when you know we took control of the game, and really it started at that safety again. You know, going back to that. So let's simulate the rest of the week. We got Saints beating the Falcons. We've got Chiefs beating the Redskins. We've got Cowboys beating the Giants in a comeback. We have the Jets losing to Buffalo. We have the Lions getting thrashed by New England. We've got Houston getting beat up by Denver. Vikings lose to the Bears, so the Bears continue to be undefeated. And then the Raiders beat the Chargers. The Niners lose to the Rams. Browns gets demolished by the Steelers, and that does it for Week 5. Next week, we will be taking on the Se oh, the Seahawks. It's the expansion game. So uh, I'm sure they're having uh, – they're not doing as well as us. 1-4, and four, you know, it's, it's that's to be expected from an expansion team. That's where it is right now for them. Uh, let's just take a look at, and once, you know, five and, it's battle of the, well, battle of the five and O's. That's the race. The division race is, is a pair of five and O teams at the moment. Then we will not get the chance to play against them until maybe the playoffs. That would be, uh, pretty sweet actually to, you know, have, uh, division teams play for the first time in, uh, of the year, really the first time in existence because they are, um, this is the Tampa's expansion season. That would be something. I'm it's, I'm kind of hoping for that, like uh, that 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 it's a really tight race between us and the Bears throughout, and 
you know, we end up playing each other in the playoffs without having a game against each other. The rest of the NFC, you got the Cowboys in firm control of the East, and the Rams in firm control of the West. Not quite as uh, as great of a division. It, it's it's funny. It's usually the you know when you look at Tecmo, the Niners always destroy everybody else. But this is the seventies, and the Rams were the kings of the West of the in the in that era in that era. Also, you're not used to seeing the Patriots doing well in uh, Tecmo simulations of in the original Tecmo, but the Patriots did uh, make the playoffs and almost uh, advance through. Thankfully, they didn't. As a Raiders fan, you might know what I'm talking about when when it comes to the '76 season. But it's a tight division nonetheless. Only the Jets are not in the mix there. Steelers are three and two. You know that's a that's that's not quite as good as to be expected of the, you know the mid seventies steel curtain teams. And then we of course already went over the West, just to take a look at our uh, you know scout out our opponent in the Seahawks. But the Chiefs and the Broncos are up top right now with the Raiders trailing shortly behind them. So, you know that'll be uh, that. You know we can't take our opponents lightly, even though they are one and four. Because after all, we are also an expansion team, and you know it's uh, you can always say that you know the 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 quality of our opponents hasn't been great. You know we beat the Bengals, who are one and four. Uh, what am I looking over there? You know we beat the Chargers, who are one and four. We beat uh, Baltimore, who that 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 one was a uh, you know, a tightly contested game. The Bills are three and two, but uh, you know, we, we haven't beaten any strong teams, like teams that are. Well, although really the only teams that are three games over five hundred are these two right here, as far as the AFC goes, which is the, uh, which are the teams that we're playing. But there's a lot of time left, a lot of games to be played. You don't apologize for your schedule or who you beat or any of that crap. You just go out there and play who you play. So next week, we'll be playing the Seahawks, and uh, that is it for this week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.